Okay, so 4-2, this was just kind of a review of slope that we've looked at. So remember, slope is your rise over your run. It's the vertical change over your horizontal change, the change in Y value over the change in X value. And so remember, if you're given two points, or even if you have a graph or a table, we can use that formula every single time. So determine the slope of the line, this first one. If they give you a graph and they give you these two points on there, the easiest thing to do, I think, is to find the rise over the run, since that is what slope is, right? It's the change in Y over the change in X. So my rise, remember you rise out of bed before you run to the bus. So from point to point that they gave us, I'm gonna figure out the rise to the run. So I'm gonna count up from point to point, one, two, three. So my rise was three, my run, I just went over one. So that's my slope, three over one or three. If you ever are unsure if it's positive or negative when they're giving you a graph, most of you guys know what positive and negative looks like. If you're ever unsure, start with the left side of the graph or of your slope. And if it goes up, then it's positive. If it goes down from that point you're looking at, then it's negative. Okay. So number two, the points given in the table lie on a line. Determine the slope of the line, then graph the line. So when they give you a table, we want to do the change in Y over the change in X. So I'm going to pick two points, and I'm going to pick the two positive points just so I don't have to deal with negatives. And I'm going to use that point slope, or that slope formula, I'm sorry. So y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So my first set of coordinates, 2 and 0. And my second set of coordinates, 3 and 2. I'm going to write those down so then it's easier for me to label them. So the first set, I'm going to label x1, y1. The second set, x2, y2. So then from here, you're just plugging it into that formula. So y2 was 2 minus y1, which was 0 on top of x2, which was three, minus x1, which was two. And so two minus zero is two, three minus two is one, so two over one, or two, is my slope. And if I put these points on the graph, start with zero, negative four, one, two, three, four, one, negative two, two, zero, and three, two. And so then even if I did it that way, I would still get the same rise two over run one. So same thing. <clears throat> Number three, determine the slope of a roof of a home that rises six feet for every horizontal change of 18 feet. So remember that's what your slope is. It's your vertical change over your horizontal change. So if it rises six feet, that's my top number and horizontal change is eight feet, that's gonna be my bottom number, okay? So 6 18 is my slope. If you want to reduce that in the calculator, or if you're unsure how to reduce, if you hit second y equals, nope, psych, alpha y equals, that's gonna bring up your fraction options. Hit the first one, that's just your plain old fraction, and plug that number in, six, over 18. If you hit enter, it's gonna reduce it for you if you're not great with the reducing. So really it's one third. Number four, determine the slope of a mountain that descends. So if I'm descending, it's going down. So already it's gonna be negative. Descends 200 meters for every horizontal distance of 2,000 meters. So again, slope is rise over run. If my vertical change is negative 200, because it says it was going down, descending 200, and the horizontal distance is 2,000. That's how I'm gonna write it. And since they all end in zeros, that's really the easiest way to reduce it, I think. And then negative two over 20 will reduce down to negative one over 10. 
that the top, number five, determine the slope of the line that passes through the pair of points, negative two, negative one, and three, five. Remember, if they just give you two points, then we wanna use that formula to figure it out. So I'm gonna label these points, it's always X and Y. And since this is my first set, I'm gonna label it X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So then when we go to plug it in, Y2 is five minus Y1, which was negative one. So five minus negative one, it's always minus in the formula. So even if there's a negative, we wanna include both of those things. And then X2, three minus X1, which was negative two. So five minus negative one is six. Remember negatives cancel out and three minus negative two, same thing. So six over five is our slope for number five. Then on number six, first of all, if I'm looking at the very edge, the farthest left side of my graph, my line is going down. So that means my slope is gonna be negative. And now I can look at my points that they gave me. I'm gonna figure my rise to my run, or my vertical change to my horizontal change, y over x, rise over run, it's all the same. Okay, so from point to point, I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna run one, two, three, four, five. So negative five over five is gonna reduce down to negative one over one, or just negative one. On number seven, same thing, the points given in the table line a line determine the slope of the line, then graph the line. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm gonna use two points. I'm gonna use the prettier points, the positives, not the negatives. And I'm gonna label those. So I'm gonna say this is x1, this is y1, x2, y2. So when I go to subtract them, y2 minus y1, two minus zero, on top of x2 minus x1. So two over two, which would just be positive one. Last one, same thing, they just gave me points. I don't have a graph, I don't have a table. So I'm gonna use that same formula. And I'm gonna label these points, x1, y1, x2, and y2. So my y2 is 14.5 minus y1, which is negative 10.5, on top of x2, three, minus x1, which is negative two. And so 14.5 minus negative, remember those cancel out. So that's really 25. On top of three minus negative two, same thing. We're really adding those. So five over one or five. 